usually the smaller initial phases of phase one, phase two, have much fewer patients in them. Um, and even to the point of very few patients when we're talking individuals with rare diseases because there are just not that many um, patients that might be eligible for that trial. So when they are, um, if we have a trial where we're accepting five patients for a trial, for instance, we are not looking for all of those patients all at once for multiple reasons. Um, it's a staggered enrollment, as any trial is at any point in time at any institution. Part of it is it takes a lot of work to enroll a child and to do all of the activities involved with that trial. So you physically couldn't have them all come in all, all at once. You just wouldn't have the manpower to do that because you're not only doing that trial. You're also taking care of other patients and, and doing other things. So um, you're also wanting to see how things are going with each patient in that trial. Some are purposely staggered because they may be different cohorts in a trial where they're stag increasing dosing very slowly. Very, very few patients at one dose, very few patients at a second dose. Those are staggered by, sometimes by many months between cohorts. And it may take one, two, five, six months just to get those first two or three patients in, um, depending on uh, how capable um, your facility is at handling them, how busy a trial it is, how many procedures are involved, but then also um, obviously the goal is to get it done as quickly as possible. We all want to get the trial done quickly for the, for the patient's sake, for, for research's sake, to find that question, does this drug make a difference? Does this treatment make a difference? But um, you still have to do it staggered because you're learning even during a trial from the first patient, you may, you may recognize that there's something you want to do differently with the second or third, even if it's just data collection and how you're, what information you are collecting on that person. Maybe you, you want to ask some more questions about something or, or do an additional questionnaire just because of something you recognized in the, in the first patient. So it educate, educates us as we go to. We don't always know the best trial to put out there from day one. Um, it's, it's a learning process as well.